Hi everyone, so today's video is about quite the trendy topic on YouTube. So you might have heard this or seen this in other videos as well, whether Mernstack is dying or Mernstack is saturating. And even on my channel, I've heard a variety of comments saying that people were either learning Mernstack or whether they were starting to learn Mernstack and now they're considering dropping it because there's so much talk about Mernstack not being a highly demand field or basically the downfall of Mernstack is going on. So in this video, we're going to see whether you should learn Mernstack in 2024 or not, or if it is saturating, then what you should do or whether it's really even saturating or not. So before we dive into the video, let's understand one thing. What decides whether a tech stack is good or bad, highly in demand or low in demand? It's the industry. If there's a lot of companies hiring for a particular tech stack, then even if it is saturated, it's still a lucrative field, right? And if companies are not hiring for a particular tech stack, then it might not be a good idea to go into it. Now, that's the truth. But apart from the truth, there's also a false narrative that is being put forward by influencers. So a lot of influencers might be saying something like this tech stack is highly in demand because I'm making a course on it. And this tech stack is now saturated because I'm no longer making a course on it. So you might see a lot of these things as well. Don't get misled by all of that, because like I said, a false narrative will always be there for you. But we are here to unravel the truth and see what is actually happening according to the industry standards. OK, so what is Mernstack? First of all, what is Mernstack for people who are new to the channel or people who are fresh years? A lot of you might not know. Mernstack is basically a form of full stack web development where M starts for MongoDB, which is the database. E starts for E stands for Express.js, R stands for React and N stands for Node.js, which is for backend. React is for front end. So one thing you should get right away is that React is a highly in demand technology right now. And whether you go for Mernstack or Java or Golang, React will always be there. Okay, so React is still the top choice of companies for the front end development. But if you take a look at full stack development as a whole, then is Mernstack good or not? Or is Mernstack saturating? So the short answer is no, it is not saturating. And if you go for the long answer, then just go on LinkedIn and do a small exercise. Search for Mernstack developers, search for React developers, search for Node.js developers, and you'll see thousands and thousands of companies that are still hiring for Mernstack roles. Now, I totally agree. There's a hype around Mernstack right now. Everyone is making videos about how to become a Mernstack developer. And the amount of Mernstack developer coming out each year has also increased. But the thing is that people who actually know Mernstack, like really know Mernstack very well, are still low in demand. Okay, so if you are someone who is doing Mernstack, or if you're willing to start Mernstack, then go all in. If you go in the next six months, if you learn Mernstack or any other tech stack, if you give it the next six months, learn it properly, make the right amount of projects, then definitely you'll see a good demand in that field. Okay, there are a few people who are not able to get job even after becoming Mernstack developer. So there might be a couple of reasons for that. And we cannot blame the tech stack for that, right? It might be that the market is not good or might be that your problem solving skills are not that good despite of you having good Mernstack skills, right? So you cannot blame the tech stack for that. And one more thing that I also talked about in my other video is that there's two types of companies that you want to go into. Okay, one is the product based company, companies which are already established. You have Amazon, you have Google, these kind of companies that already have a good user base and pay well. Other are the startup companies, you know, the new startups that you see every day coming out that get funding or that become popular, that start hiring more and more. So for these startups, Mernstack is still highly in demand and they are hiring for Mernstack, good Mernstack developers every day. So before you start blaming the tech stack, before you want, before you, you know, jump at the idea of just switching tech stack, first learn the tech stack properly. Okay, you might see a lot of outdated tech stack and you might see a lot of tech stacks which are not popular like .NET, PHP, and you will still find companies hiring for them because there will always be a demand of good experienced developers no matter what the tech stack is. So if you're into Mernstack, stick to Mernstack, give it all in. If you're into Java full stack, stick to Java full stack, give it all in. If you're in some other tech stack, then give it all in, give it a good six months and you will be able to get yourself hired. After you learn one tech stack fully, then you can move on to the next possibly, but don't start blaming the tech stack and leave it in the middle. So that's pretty much it. There's nothing to worry about. There's a lot of fear mongering going on, like I already mentioned in the beginning of the video. Get, don't get misled by all of that. Focus on what you're doing. Focus on building the right amount of skills. And today or tomorrow, sooner or later, you will be able to get hired.
So that's pretty much it. If you still have any doubts, then feel free to DM me on Instagram or leave a comment. Love to hear from you guys. Thank you.